Hi guys, it's Ben here, and having beaten Hertha Berlin, a decent German side, by three goals to nil on Saturday, Liverpool now take on the best the country has to offer in Bayern Munich. So Liverpool's very impressive pre-season continued on Saturday with a great win over Hertha Berlin. Three goals from Solanke, Van Aldem and Salah. The last of which I think had us all purring and looking forward to Coutinho and Salah playing together this season, if that is indeed the case. But it gets even tougher from now on. Bayern Munich are the opponents on Tuesday in the Audi Cup, the tournament that takes place every couple of years. Atletico Madrid and Napoli join us in the competition. This is of course familiar territory for Jurgen Klopp, Liverpool's manager, who won the Bundesliga title twice ahead of Bayern Munich, so he knows all about this fans, this club, everything about Bayern Munich. And I think he's as excited as we are to see how the Reds fare against one of Europe's real elite teams. Klopp was actually the last man to stop Bayern Munich winning the league back in 2012. And Klopp has confirmed that he will play two separate teams in each game. So on Tuesday against Bayern Munich, it'll be 1-11 with, of course, some subs. And then on Wednesday, whether it'll be the third place playoff or the final, it probably will be a completely different side to what we see on Tuesday. How similar the 11 is to the one we saw start against Berlin on Saturday, I'm not sure, we'll get into that in a minute. We haven't actually played against Bayern Munich for 16 years, which is crazy when you consider how far we used to get in all the Champions League competitions in sort of the mid 2000s and into the late 2000s. We've not actually met since the Super Cup final in 2001 when we beat them 3-2. That game was in Monaco, I think it was Reese's first goal for the Reds and Heskey and Owen scored two as we went 3-0 up and then they brought it back to 3-2 but we ended up lifting the trophy after that mad trouble and the charity shield. It was a crazy few months for Liverpool. We get to win the trophy under Klopp but we did win the Asia trophy so pre-season has been going pretty nicely. Let's see if we can add the Audi Cup to the pre-season cabinet. We all know about Liverpool's form going into this. They beat Tranmere, Drew at Wigan and then they beat two Premier League sides in Palace and Leicester, followed up with probably the best display of uh, the close season so far against Hertha Berlin on Saturday. As for Bayern Munich, they've lost to Arsenal on penalties in this pre-season campaign, they've lost 4-0 to AC Milan, beaten Chelsea 3-2 and lost 2-0 to Inter, so a mixed bag for them so far. Certainly worse results than what we've got, but against tougher opposition. The likes of Rebury, James Rodriguez, Komen, Lewandowski, Tolisso all played in that 2 0 defeat by Inter, so I'm expecting a very strong Bayern Munich side against the Reds on Tuesday. Renato Sanchez also came on in that game, and he's someone that Sport Build have linked with Liverpool. He's not quite broken into the Bayern Munich first team since his move from Benfica last summer. Liverpool's move for Cater looks to be a bit dead, so could he be someone that Klopp looks at during this game as a potential new signing? Sport Build aren't particularly reliable, so I'm not reading too much into that one, but a lot of people in the comments on here, and even I have said that he might be someone to look at if we are desperate for an energetic box-to-box -box midfielder. So expect a strong side from Carlo Ancelotti's men. As for Liverpool, Loris Karras will be back after missing out on the weekend. Dayan Lovren will also be available and we might see some of Trent Alexander-Arnold, Ben Woodburn and Marco Grujic who played no part of the weekend. Meanwhile, Joe Gomez has picked up a knock, so a bit of tough luck for him. Still no Nathaniel Klein, nor Danny Ward and Diva Carigi will also be missing with a muscle strain. James Milner should also be back. He's returned to full training. I don't think Danny Ings is going to feature. So let's get into a predicted 11. I think this is going to be as close to the strongest 11 as we're going to see in pre-season. I think this is where Klopp's really going to try and figure out what sort of team he's going to put out against Watford. So in goal, Simon Mignolet, of course. I think Trent Alexander-Arnold's going to play at Watford, so I think he's going to play here. Joe Gomez and Nathaniel Klein both having knocks means he pretty much slots straight in there. Dayan Lovren's back, so I think he's going to partner John Matip here. And then it's between Milner and Robertson for left back. I think he'll go with James Milner just to sort of play safe early on in the campaign. And I think Milner's going to play here at Munich. I'm going to pick a midfield three of Jordan Henderson, Adam Milana, and Jeannie Wijnaldum. And then go with Mane, Coutinho and Firmino up front. Now there's no Mohamed Salah in there, but I think in a game like this against Bayern Munich in the league club, I don't think you're going to go with two out-and-out -out wingers. I think Coutinho will play on the left and drop in a bit, give that extra body in midfield when needed. I just can't see us going with a three-man midfield that involves Coutinho and Alana, perhaps not the physicality that you need in a big away ground like this. I might be wrong and I wouldn't be upset if Coutinho did play deep and we saw both Mane and Salah because I think that is the side we want to see, especially at home against lesser opposition. Whether we can pull that off against the likes of Bayern Munich, I'm not sure. Maybe we'll try it out, but I'm going to go with Henderson, Mount and Milana in midfield. Uh, all three of those players have done pretty well so far this preseason, particularly Henderson, who I'm delighted to see looking fit and in great form. As far as odds are concerned, Liverpool are 9-2 to two to win this game. Now, I know Arsenal beat Munich on penalties, so that's not a victory, so they wouldn't have got that win as far as the bookies are concerned in 90 minutes, but 
AC Milan and Inter both did beat Bayern Munich and kept the clean sheet, so you'd think Liverpool might be capable of that. Bayern Munich at 8 to 15, so no real value there. The draws at 7 to 2. Liverpool's win to nil is 12 to 1. Now, say what you want about the defence being shaky, but we have kept quite a few clean sheets so far this preseason, so that might be one to look at. As far as my score prediction goes, I'm actually feeling quite confident. I think things are coming together for us in preseason. Bayern Munich, not quite yet. Obviously, you know, they're obviously a better squad than us in total, but. So far this preseason, we've been a bit more convincing, especially in front of goal. We look very, very at it. I'm going to go for us to win this game 2-1 and reach the final of this tournament. And I think the goal scorers are going to be Sadio Mane and Adam Lallana. There you go. 2-1 to the Reds. Leave a comment with your score prediction and what your predicted 11 looks like. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please do subscribe to my channel for more of this sort of stuff. Drop a like, share the video for me, and follow my other socials. It's Ben Say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. And I'll see you next time.